Oh boy, this guy is underrated, man. This dude can practically just tear list because it, his tear depends on what he touches. Kind of similar to Rogue. I'll note in comics, there's objects in Marvel that are overpowered like Infinity Stones, Cosmic Cubes, Infinity Gems, Mjolnir, Stormbreaker. Like, there's all types of artifacts that you can touch in Marvel to where, yeah, that's a great ability in Marvel, right? And yeah, he's one of those beings in Marvel that can do that. Like, Adamantium and Vibranium. Like, you can touch all that stuff because he's the absorbing man, right? Before I get into how strong Creel is, I have to give a quick shout out to those that have donated to the channel. Appreciate it a lot. It helps out a lot. Welcome to the new edition of The Donators. Determination is my name, faith, love, empathy is my game. <laughs> and of course, the rest of you as well. Appreciate the love. His name is Carl Brackets Crusher Creel, also known as the Absorber Man. He was an American professional heavyweight boxer turned into an enforcer. So yeah, he does have skills right off gate. You know, while locked up in prison, he was mutated using Asgardian magic by the trickster the deity Loki. Thanks a lot, Loki. Loki's always involved in stuff. Speaking of Loki, I actually got a video on how strong Loki is. You might want to check that out. And it's pretty freaking cool. Thanks to Loki, it was like a special potion. So Loki can just create super beings like this now. That's kind of broken. Thanks a lot, Loki. Special potion. This is what I was talking about. Special potion. Thanks a lot, Loki. <laughs> As you can see, then he can turn into stuff, right? He was then, later on in the future, recruited by the Masters of Evil in the comic book lore, one of the many organizations in Marvel. But enough of that stuff, let's dive right into it. What is the limitations and how strong is this underrated being? I ain't just Crusher Krill and Ordinary Khan anymore. I'm the Absorbing Man, the most dangerous guy in the world. I want to go further into his skills like I mentioned earlier. With like with no abilities right here, he like fought Black Bolt in hand to hand. It's kind of crazy. He states here, I was a boxer. Implied that he could beat him if he let him win the first time or something. He said he was testing him, he says. He so-called says. This is intriguing. This is some lore from you already showing that he's in the powerhouse ranges. He says, I was a boxer. I've been to the joint. I don't know how many times I fought two different Thors, but I still got my teeth. A lot of guys can say that, he says. Jane Foster Thor and normal real Thor. More lore for you on his. You can pause the video and read this if you like. I would take those numbers down. Wouldn't take them literally because all of them stats can change depending on what he absorbed. Strength is a two. Like that's low. Isn't that lower than Captain America's on the power grid? Like, yeah, we know he's higher than that. And speed and durability, like all that can change when he touches different stuff, right? Let's get into the fun stuff. He can also use his actual weapons to absorb powers. He doesn't actually need to grab something to become it. Like he can use his chain like an extension of himself. Epic. He states here, lesson one, my ball and chain can absorb the abilities of anything it touches, just like me. You just give me the power of your Uru hammer. Beast mode. We can become Thor tier if he like gets the power of me on there. You know what I mean? Already off gate. He's consistently shown to be a match for Thor level beings freaking way above black hole level beings, multi-solar system level beings easily. Grabbing onto Mjolnir, he stays here. And by holding on to it, its Uru power becomes my Uru power. Face it, Thor, there's no way you can beat me. Thanks to absorbing Thor's basically stats or getting Thor level power, he got hit by Thor and was able to just eat the attack. Thor hits him with an attack. It states here, so the stronger you are, the sooner you die. That's pretty freaking broken. Even narration states it, but even the most powerful single hammer blow of all time cannot more than merely shake Crusher. Because the brutal fugitive has absorbed the same power which Thor himself possesses. Yeah, he's Thor level, confirmed. One could say this is like the ultimate hack. It's like, man, it's not, however strong the opponent is, he can be there. It's best to not even attack Absorbing Man with like any objects. Like, if I'm being honest, like don't even attack him with objects because he's just gonna turn into that object. Like in this occasion, it's not just the stuff he grabs. He can also use his absorbing powers to grow into massive building size being as well. He can even take the properties of large stuff like islands, or even continents, but this takes time, of course. Ridiculous, though. When he's in the middle of absorbing something and he's interrupted, he can kind of be sucked in the state, though. That's like a weakness, I'm assuming. It states here, how do you think the Avengers going to fight somebody that's absorbed half the freaking globe? Yeah, another case of him fighting the Hulk. Yeah, I'm going to be the strongest one there is. There was a time he even absorbed the power of the quantum bands, getting the power of a star, star level plus confirmed. Quasar said the only way to beat him is by hitting me with too much energy too fast, right? Quantum bands is definitely uh, up there. He's able to do this, absorb the essence of the entire bunker. <laughs> like, whoa. Does this in seconds too, by the way. Another occasion of fighting Hulk. Yeah, he's definitely up there. Absorbs the general structure of New York. Like, look at this, looks epic. Like a flashback. Does this, this kind of confirms that he's kind of hard to kill. This dude was kind of floating in space and becomes a part of a comet. There was a time he became the essence of Captain America's shield. So he became super durable. Iron Man, yeah. 
Came super durable. Medium powerhouse level characters can't even really do nothing to him when he's this durable. Kind of one shot of Iron Man here. That's kind of impressive. Sometimes he has weird abilities like, uh, it states here, he's gone. Creel's gone from my mind. Uh, he's able to control people's mind. The water, when I dove from the bridge, the impact of hitting the water knocked me unconscious, yet Creel stayed with me. Why? Could have leapt from my mind the instant I vaulted from the bridge, but he stayed inside. Really? Hulk is known to have ability to resist mind abilities. So somehow Krill can uh, kind of control Hulk a little bit, which is kind of crazy. Krill actually let him go out of his mind on purpose. Beings like Dazzler hits Absorbing Man with a whole bunch of energy. Does nothing but make him into energy. <laughs> so yeah, that didn't work. Same with Black Bolt. Too much power at this point. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Dazzler. One of the few people that might actually have Black Bolt's number thanks to his nature. You know, Black Bolt can actually shoot electron blasts. That didn't work. He had the power of living light. He used this. You know, he used the power of the living light to fight against Black Bolt. And also, it didn't help that Black Bolt shot an electron blast, too. He stays here, but anything you can zap at me, I can absorb, make part of myself. So, it wasn't a smart idea, especially since he was already made of light. Dazzler is a mutant with the ability to transduce sonic vibrations, which reach her body into various types of light. It has great range, different frequencies, including audible spectrum and great variation of sound pressure levels. Dazzler, Absorbing Man absorbed this because he's that powerful, right? But let's continue on his raw power, shall we? Of course, in this time, another occasional fighting, another powerhouse, another battle feat, guys. It's pretty consistent. Even in the old days, he absorbed radiation, like a nuclear engine to be precise, after he got hit by Hulk, of course. Just giving an idea of his power, fighting Hulk in his scan. I think Krill is more than just absorbing objects. I mean, he can kind of absorb, kind of drained Hulk in this occasion, where it make him drop. They roll times two, because it says, I can absorb the strength of living things as easily as metal or rock. That means I can add your might to my own. Up a mountain like that big, using your own power to do it power which i'm absorbing just by standing over you yeah so he's kind of like just straight up rogue you know writers don't want to make up their mind on what is he just absorbing objects or absorbing people just like rogue i mean you know what i'm saying he can even turn into cocaine okay you know what okay cocaine creole and he reforms by pulling pieces of himself back together he's like a log yeah remember i told you earlier about these dark enchantments like i told you he can change tears depending on what he touches he was able to drain dark enchantment which is a power used by dormammu to conquer the world by the way yeah thanks to his ability to be able to touch and absorb the most powerful artifacts he can kind of hang with the people that should be out of his tears like dormammu crazy it states here this is something i don't know what that rock is but i could feel like i could tear anything yeah he's powered up by the thing so he's like amp you know but it's just the fact that's his power. He can do that. Absorb overpowered stuff. Even people out of his tears. I mean, just look at this. Dormammu. Dormammu. Tell me he ain't powerful, bro. He can absorb the power of the cosmic cube. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Cosmic cube. There are multiple cosmic cubes. But just to give you reference on how strong a cosmic cube is. It has the power to shred the fabric of existence. Extending into infinite dimensions and adjacent universes. What is the limits on what this guy absorbing man can absorb, man? Power of cosmic cubes can just like literally make celestials inert. Like they can't, like they're, they're trapped. There are beings that have had that have used five cosmic cubes to make eternity catonic. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Eternity. And Creel has the power to absorb that. It makes sense on why he would do stuff like, you know, fight multiple characters off or even do this to the freaking century. It makes sense. I mean, if he's got the power of Cosmic Cube, it states here, try some Cosmic Cube power. Let's me reshape reality, your reality. I can crush you, reshape you, and divide you epic can really jump any tier like he's like a team buster like too much power even when hank gets a piece of the cosmic cube it doesn't really seem to matter his power is kind of weird there's times where he can't reform himself when he absorbs large bodies of water it's kind of weird i mean if you can absorb the cosmic cube you would think absorbing massive amounts of water wouldn't matter maybe it's the size of it you know maybe not the necessary power of water obviously the cosmic cube is more powerful so he can do cool stuff like morphing himself into the floor and do this. Just bullying folks. This guy literally has Black Bolt's number. Black Bolt's like evident screaming little aura just powers him up. He can absorb those screams. Like, gosh. Uses it as power. He's not really trying to use it against him here, though. He even took the powers of Beast, even though he's a living thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just like rogue. Like, really? He can do cool stuff like turning into paper. Turns into sausage. Okay, this is goofy. Like, literally touches the sausage. I'm, I'm done. He's even beaten up Miss Marvel before with the powers of the ship engine. <laughs> How does that work? Curb stomps her on that occasion. This guy might actually be more underrated than the thing. I can't believe I'm saying this, but he might actually take the cake when it comes to that. Absorbing Man is insanity. He's had many adventures. Adventures with Hulk, Dazzler, Secret Wars event, Masters of Evil, Marriage to Titania, Titania's Cancer, Drug Use, Civil War, She-Hulk, Cosmic Cube, Lost His Powers, 
regained his powers and all that type of stuff throughout his career. Axis, space prison stuff, and even appears in the Immortal Hulk saga to fight the Hulk again. But in this occasion, after being arrested for another crime, he was convinced by his lord to join the U.S. Hulk operations to avoid going back to prison. He was injected with a drug based on the Hulk plug-in that turned him into a gamma mutate that increased his physical attributes, allowing him to absorb gamma energy, even though he should be able to do that anyway because he's kind of absorbed the Hulk's powers before in the past. Like, I think he absorbed the Hulk's strength. He didn't necessarily absorb the gamma or something. Or, I'm confused myself. Don't judge me because I, I just showed you the panels of him fighting Hulk and getting the powers of him. So, what? yeah, take that as you will. So, yeah, Creel did appear in the Immortal Hulk saga. The saga I've been reviewing on my channel, by the way. Make sure you check out my Immortal Hulk videos I have on my channel. I have a bunch of them. And, of course, I love the Hulk. Duh. See what I'm saying? This is the serum I was talking about. Similar to how Red Hulk can do. It's called the Bannerman Gene Enhancement Package. Or, I'm going to call it the Bannerman Amp. AKA the Hulk plug-in. If you've been on my channel long enough, you remember this occasion. He uh, fought Immortal Hulk himself, drained the gamma out of Immortal Hulk to where the Hulk was skinny for like a few panels too. Like it was for a while. Even I was getting annoyed about how long this fool gonna stay skinny. Yeah, but like look how skinny he is. Yeah, but the Hulk was still strong though. Yeah, that's Immortal Hulk for you. Let's not forget that Krill survived this uh, ripping of a... Uh, yeah, he, uh, yeah, Hulk messed him up here. But he still survived this somehow. Like, are we just going to ignore that? It's kind of like a durability feat. Even though the Hulk still messed him up, he still was still fighting on par with Hulk level beings. They wouldn't put him in this many Hulk stories fighting Hulk over and over again if he wasn't in this tier. And his powers can make him be in any tier at will, right? His only what main weakness I can think of is that he might not keep those powers permanently forever if he touches something else. Because I don't see why he would just give up the power of the Cosmic Cube if he could just keep it. You know what I mean? Kind of ends up getting possessed by One Below All in the saga. It's basically a dimensional barrier that keeps the One Below All in the below place and outside of the rest of the multiverse, if that makes sense, or universe. Probably the coolest thing ever. Like, after he's getting ripped apart and he's alive, he's back again. He says, I can be Gamma. He literally turns to Gamma being, like an actual, like he's absorbed the whole strength in the past, but this time he actually turns into actual Gamma being, guys. How strong can this guy get? He absorbs the engine so he can move around like a little compact hole. Building size. There's been a lot of events. There was another event. You remember the Fear Itself event? You know the Fear Itself when different characters got amped up to freaking unknown levels. You know, Juggernaut, the thing. All Everybody got like different power-ups. Absorbing Man had this as well. He became the breaker of will. Oh boy. Super strong. Ball and chain. Absorbing villages and everything. One shot's reptile. Smashes up dimensional doors. Break of wills, baby. On this occasion, he fought Giant Man and beat him up. He's evidently smarter while Serpent is influencing him. Only way Pym was able to survive beat down from battlefield removal, basically. Epicness. Don't lie. You ship Titania and Absorbing Man. Okay, let me get back on topic. You remember Titanium, right? Titania. She be interacting with She-Hulk. That's right. I don't know how he's able to do this, but he's able to move his form through continents. Loken evidently gave him like a amp to where he can fly, kind of similar to uh, how Thor can fly with his hammer, but he does this with his ball and chain. This is kind of cool. Loki and Absorbing Man needs to be best friends. I mean, thanks to Loki, this dude became like a god tier or at least a Thor level being. Like, thank you, Loki, a lot. This is nothing new for a character in Marvel, especially somebody in his tier. He's able to blitz characters like Daredevil with his speed. This is not really nothing surprising. Marvel characters, even in the Super Soldier tier like Daredevil, have ridiculous combat speed like even like daredevil for example no i was not exaggerating when i said daredevil can react in a microsecond there's nothing new for marvel super soldier tears the super soldier tears in marvel can like pluck bullets out the air it's no big deal absorber man should be at least as fast because he blitzed them has comparable combat speed to those characters at least even characters like speedball complemented speed he was able to crack thor's ribs with a hit showing his attack power being in the black hole ranges is that epic or what causing major harm to him as well when he touches adamantum he can break through constructs from quasar was literally able to knock out thor with his ball and chain of course when he had the powers of thor yeah he was thor level so of course he can knock him out he was literally confirmed to be knocked out for half an hour tell me that ain't epic brought it out with clue hulk clue hulk this guy yawn another occasion of him fighting it out with thor causes an earthquake made of adamantium he busts the head of a stark sentinel made of adamantium he's fought characters like the thing in battle feeds another underrated character you need to check out that video as well like fought him like pretty powerful made of diamond smacks vision around vision is not seen again after this so it could have he could have been knocked out smashed through kid apocalypse celestial armor even when he's not even made out of stuff that strong like he's still implied to be in them black hole levels like for example you wouldn't expect him to be thor level just by touching some rock yeah, evidently he's still in tears even when touching stuff that's not even all that it would be safe to say his baseline strength is black hole range even without having his abilities i mean made out of rock he's still able to fight thor so it's not like he has to touch the metal on his hammer to fight these beings he can touch like stuff that's not even all that durable and still have the level of strength but like his durability probably ain't as good because he's made out of just rock hulk can 
Hulk and Thor can smash rock, right? He's overcame telekinesis before, ball and chain. It's no surprise in this normal form he has superhuman strength. He can toss around random people without even absorbing nothing. Light work. Showing his boxing skills in a boxing match, yeah. Touching iron, he can knock out Sif. He can send cars flying while he's made of steel. His time he fought Joe Fixit, he sent him flying. Don't forget Joe Fixit can bust planets. With the power of Oak, he can do this to uh, Thor. Oak trees, I'm assuming. Does this to Thor in the window. Does this to the century. I'm done. Absorbing century's powers in this occasion, evidently. Absorbing just enough. As far as Hulk on plenty of occasions, like this is going to be a pattern, guys. Steel form. Not even no adamantium, still just steel. Like he's still going to fight Hulk level beings in steel. Fun fact, even when he's not touching nothing, he's still stronger than a normal human. But I think when he touches like the bare minimum element like wood or something and that's when he jumps to a black hole level right something like that or a medium powerhouse level right but if he touched milner he'd jump to another tier you know what i mean picks up airplanes something should be light to him thor thor and thor so final synopsis i think it's pretty obvious that he's a beast at this point right but how do i rank him i would say well i would say it's like this his base form like without touching nothing like just him having the ability of absorbing powers but not touching nothing at the moment He's got to be at least in those super soldier tiers or at least Captain America tiers, right? But I think the bare minimum element he touches without touching nothing super powered, just touching like a random piece of metal or a random piece of wood in the street or something, I would say, or just some water in the ocean, I would say he then jumps up to Thor-ish tier or at least the Miss Marvel tier, you know, enough power to destroy a planet, obviously, or hurt something with planet level durability or harm a being with star level durability, that type of thing, you know, the... Miss Marvel tier. That's fair enough, right? But then I feel like he can jump even farther in tiers if he touches something like adamantium, right? Then instead of being at least in the Miss Marvel tier or Carol Danvers tier, just by default, if he touches adamantium, he has to be in the Thor tier in this context. But then that's not even the limitations of him. If he touches like something like a cosmic cube, like we saw him do, he has the potential to be on Skyfather levels if, we, if he touches something. I mean, his tier is basically whatever he touches if he touches the strongest artifact he basically becomes that artifacts equal or something like that right which is very scary showed you what he did the century and the fact that this guy could jump to like i showed you earlier of him fighting dormammu he could jump to those dormammu ish ranges of power is absolutely scary and by the way those century panels was not i don't think centuries were at his death seat levels but just wanted that to be noted but like he can jump to like crazy high tiers it's like limitless potential he's like rogue on drugs basically they initially say his power was just object absorption but it seems like it's a lot more than that he absorbed like beings powers and absorb radiation like absorbing gamma absorbing hulk strength or gamma you know that type of thing marvel make up your mind you know that type of thing but i hope you guys enjoyed this run though how strong do you think absorbing man is did you guys know he was this strong is he too overpowered is he too plot convenient like what is he do you think he's just right do you think he's cool somebody have a perk like this his only weakness is that he can't keep the ability he has so he can't just be cosmic cube level all the time you know what i mean like i think that that's fair that's a fair weakness for him right that would be broken if he just kept all this stuff right but you think he's better than rogue do you think he's cooler than rogue what do you think do you think he's pretty different than rogue or enough of a difference to be a distinguishable character what do you think i want to hear all your comments below make sure you check out those all those playlists below so you can binge watch more stuff like this and by the way i do have a rogue video so you might want to check that out if you enjoyed this one but i will see you guys next time post your comments down below let me know what you all think i can't say that enough binge watch the channel i hope i see you on my channel more peace